We are going to learn about operators in Java. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Master Coding Channel. If you want to learn coding and start your coding career, you came to the right place. Hit subscribe and like so you help us making new tutorials. Let's begin learning about operators in Java. So what are operators in Java? Operators are used to perform operations on variables and values. So let's learn about operators and their use. Operators are used to perform operations on variables and values. In this example below, we use the plus sign operator to add together the two numbers. As we have seen before, back to our IDE, we have created an int a equal to 10 and int b equal to uh, 5 int c equal a plus b so the operators the compiler will add the uh, a and b together using the plus sign now <clears throat> and also although the plus operator is often used to add together two values like we have created uh, before int sum 1 equal 100 plus 50 and sum 2 equals sum 1 plus 250 so the the plus sign is also uh, used in order to make this uh, operation so if i want to add the int number a uh, two times i i write a plus a so the operators will be uh, or the compiler will add a two times a then plus a now java divides the operators into the following group we have five uh, operators uh, groups arithmetic operators assignment operators comparison operators logical operators bitwise operators we will learn uh, every uh, every uh, type uh, in this videos now Note, we are making new tutorials and courses every day. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and rate us five stars on the Play Store. You can download these uh, written uh, documents um, by using the uh, master Android application uh, available on Play Store. Now, let's dive into every uh, operator type. The or arithmetic operators. Arithmetic operators are used to perform common mathematical operations what i mean the plus sign the addition we type we type x plus y subtraction x minus y multiplication is the star and div division we have the forward slide as the slash divides one value by another and we have something called modulus what is modulus this is the percentage sign returns the division remainder. So X per, uh, modulus Y will uh, is written in the same way. Let's take a, a, a very quick uh, example about modulus. So A modulus, we have to write the percentage sign and percent uh, B. Let's go and system dot out dot print ln we print we go and print c let's run and see so uh first before running before running i should uh, uh like clarify something a over b so a over b or a divides b then divide division by uh, five it will result in two so let's take the results and hear the result. Remember, the modulus is some, something different from division. So the remainder of the division of 10 over 5 would be the result of A modulus B. So 10 over 5, 2. There is a remainder. No, th nothing is remained. So the result would be 0. And here we go, it is zero. So modulus, modulus, let's, modulus is the remainder, is the result of remainder or the remainder of 
the remainder of the division okay and here we understand the percentage and the modulus operators back to the uh, arithmetic operators plus plus in is the increment it means that the, uh, that it would increase the value of a variable by one so i can type plus plus x or x plus plus let's take a quick example i will write here a plus plus and the result would be 11 because i have added the a i have added one it is equal to a plus one i can before in, uh, despite using uh, a plus one i can write a plus plus okay there is a very very important uh, note and many exams and many thing uh, tricks in the exams in universities that we have uh, taken uh, there is a trick that plus plus a is different from a plus plus so this is uh, a called post increment so a would be executed and uh, the addition of one would be executed on the next line but in this line the addition would take place in the same line what i'm talking about i will take a very quick example let's see i will remove b and a will be printed as 10. Let's add pre-increment. So the pre-increment before I will add one before before leaving the line before the compi a compiler would uh, would pass to another line. And here we go. We have a pre-increment. The post increment a plus plus would be the same because would be the same result as a because the increment did not take place instantaneously at this line so the increment would take place in the next line let's let's try to to see what i'm talking about it would print first of all the 10 here the pre-increment without addition and then a would take a place at the next line and would be added and become the result 11 as i told you plus plus a would take a place in the first line and the second line also would be the same so it would be printing 11 and 11. it's very important to think like java compilers to know what we are talking about and what the exam or what the question or what the comp the code and the errors would be uh, and uh, how we can solve all the um, uh, problems decrement it is the same because uh, minus minus it decreases the value of the variable by one so minus minus x and x minus minus the pre and the post increment and decrement would take place as the uh, i lectured before okay this is for the uh, arithmetic operators now let's take uh, a quick look about assignment operators assignment operators are used to assign values to the variables int x in the example below, we use the assignment operators equal to assign the value 10 uh, to the variable called x. It's not 10, it's 400. Uh, okay, uh, sorry, in this, uh, in this line. The addition assignment operator plus equal adds the a value to a variable. This is the assignment of uh, x. x equal x old plus 5. This is the assignment operators. What I'm talking about. Let's remove this. 
and remove this and let's make an int x equal int x and x equal or plus equal to 5 int x equal to uh, to 10 let's remove a okay so what the compiler will be uh, thinking about it is very similar to x equal x here x equal the old x plus 5 this is the uh, this is what this means so x the new x equal the old x plus 5 it's uh, the old x it's put it here 10 and we'll add 5 to it let's print out what the is uh, the result and it would be 15 so it's very important to know this also the minus sign we can use it it is 5 we can also add the arithmetics the arithmetic operators and we can add for it it is 50 so in spite of writing x equal the new uh, the old x plus 5 or times 5 we can write this in the assignment operators this is the assignment operators now a list of assignment operators x equal 5 plus it is equal same as like this as i lectured to you and these are the divisions and the modules now let's take an exercise to learn how java operators work get the paper or open notepad and answer the following question what is the result of the following program guys i hope you uh, open your uh, notepad or paper don't uh, don't uh, cheat so you can put them into the compiler and the compiler will get the results no i want you to think like a compiler i i would make you to uh, to anchor the knowledge i would you uh, to understand how java compilers work so get your paper i will help you to to understand and master java because uh, at this in this way we have learned and mastered Java and uh, in uh, and take a very very amazing and high marks on our exams and and our team so get your paper we have five variables a b c d and e we have a b and c it takes place this assignment and uh, arithmetic uh, uh, arithmetic operators and we would print out what is the value of the new a b c d and e we learned in the previous video about the operators in java the arithmetic and the assignment operators now let's learn about comparison operators comparison operators are used to compare two values the equal equal is is an assignment operator or uh, sorry comparison operator to check the equal to for example x equal equal to y this is the comparison we check that x is it equal to y and does not equal which is uh, its symbol the exclamation mark and uh, the equal sign x does not equal to y we will see them in the if statements and the conditional statement a greater than less than greater than or equal and less than or equal this is the operators for the comparison now let's move to the logical operators logical operators uh, and and this is the and sign and and sign which is the logical and returns it true if both statements are true so if we are checking that if x less than 5 and x less than 10 these uh, statements should be true that 
the two sides, the x less than 5 and x less than 10, which, which will return true. So if I take 7, x uh, uh, taken is 7, it will return true. If x, if x, uh, sorry, if x, it will return uh, false of, uh, if x uh, equal to uh, 7. If x equal to 3, it is less than 5 and less than 10, which is a true if i take x uh, less than uh, or equal x equal to 11 it is above 10 and uh, above 5 which is not a true so the both statements should be true to in, in order to be considered as true the second logical uh, uh, operator is this this sign the uh, or the logical or returns true if one of the statement is true. So x less than 5 or x less than 4. So uh, in this case, we have x less than 5 uh, or x less than 4, which is the statement that comes true. One of them equal to, uh, is true. So we continue with the true uh, operators or the return as the statement is true. The logical not. The exclamation mark uh, is referred as not in Java. So it will reverse the result, return false if the result is true. So does not equal to x less than five and x less than 10, which is uh, does not equal. So the exclamation mark refers as does not equal the challenge number two what is now get your uh, get your uh, uh, notebook and open your notepad and try to uh, see what will result and print out the display of this um, program public statement void and we are printing out this values one two three and four i wish you take your note and um, and get uh, the the result of uh, of this program and comment it below so the first uh, correct answer will be pinned and will enter a draw for uh, for the end of the season for winning uh, prizes so Go ahead, guys, get your notepads, note, uh, get your papers, try to solve this, and uh, we will check it later on. And uh, I will tell, I told you which is, um, the, which is the solution.